So let's talk about some of the things we learned today in computer science class. Some of the things I would have liked to have gotten to um, if I had had the time on our first day, but didn't get to. And some of the things that are really good reminders. So what you're looking at here is a diagram of the Raspberry Pi 3. And this entire board right here with all the pins on it is called the GPIO controller. GPIO stands for General Purpose Input Output. On this controller are 40 pins. Now the way that the pins are organized, follow the cursor. This right here is pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and it keeps going in that order until you get to down to pin 40 right here. And so one of the things that we're doing in class is we're connecting our Pies to a touch screen display that the school has purchased. And there was a certain configuration that the students had to know. The red cable would be attached to pin 2. The black cable is attached to pin 8, which is actually this pin here. Green cable is attached to pin 3 and yellow cable is attached to pin 5. And that configuration helped us to establish a connection with the touchscreen display. Here's something that I didn't get into, but I'm going to be giving the students. This is a, a set diagram of what the controller looks like, uh, all of the pins. And all of the pins are given special, <clears throat> special designations. So for example, pin number 1 is a 3.3 volt power supply, whereas pins numbers 2 and 4 are designated as 5 volt power supplies. These are the only power supplies, oh I have to take that back right there, this pin down here, pin number 17 is also a 3.3 volt DC power supply. So those are the power supply pins. Um, <clears throat> the black are where the ground is located, so electricity needs a ground after it's passed through the circuit, it needs a place to go, and if you don't give it a place to go, it can jump across different things and electrocute people, which is considered very bad. So the black areas, these are designated as the ground pins. So pin uh, number six is considered a ground, pin nine, pin 14, and so on and so forth. The other pins, there's a lot of things I don't even know, but the other pins are your general purpose input-output pins, and these are the kinds of pins that you can actually use to control robotics equipment. And so <clears throat> there are thousands of people across the globe that are doing just amazing robotics um, projects. Um, and uh, hopefully, I do have an idea for a project at the end of the year, but nothing is concrete as of yet, so I'm still working on that. But this is the basic layout of the Raspberry Pi. So your Raspberry Pi comes with four USB 2.0 ports, comes with an Ethernet jack, so if you want to get on the internet through a cable, <clears throat> you can do that through a cable. Also comes with built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Here's the HDMI connector to connect to an HDMI TV or monitor. This is the power supply. This is the actual processor right here. It's got one gigabyte of RAM. And that is basically, there's more connector points to the Pi here that we're not going to use, but that's the basic layout. So we're going to be getting pretty quickly here into Linux. We're going to be learning Linux, and then we're going to be learning web development, and then we're going to hop right into programming in Java. And hopefully that's when we're going to get more serious about using our general purpose input-output pins. And so that's just kind of some of what we learned today. Here's what would be really helpful. Uh, the school wasn't able to purchase these, so if you have something like an old laptop bag that your student, that your child can put uh, the Pi into along with their keyboard and their cables and everything else, that would be really good. If uh, your child also is involved in sports, I highly recommend that the Pi doesn't go to the sports field with them, um, that it can be put in a nice, dark, cool place while they're on the sports field and then they can take it home and do their homework projects and whatnot in there on the pie. So avoid getting contact with this with food, water, uh, any kind of weather. 
and in a nice dark cool place. It also comes with a pretty cool case, kind of like a little desktop, so you can hook it right up to your monitor and uh, your child should also have that. So I hope when they bring it home they're talking with you about it and they're excited about it. I'm definitely excited about this year and I hope it's a good year, praying for a good year, and I'm praying we can learn a lot of new things. That's it. God bless you, wherever you are today.